Hello and welcome back to another video for 5.1 with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. And in this video, we're going to be talking about fellowships. This is going to be a small sort of introduction as to what exactly they are, because this is a brand new feature that really not many people know much about. So you've got this fellowship finder option in your social menu, and essentially this will bring you up this big list of text. Essentially, you've got the fellowship's name on the left there, the activities in those categories that they can choose from, the recruiter individually, so that person who's the leader of that actual fellowship, and the actual comment, so sort of giving you an idea of what that fellowship's all about. So as you can see here, we've got Cake Lovers Anonymous, led by F Lemon Drizzle, and that sounds absolutely delicious, and it says, for those who are more than just mutual friends of cake, and that sounds pretty much perfect for a demonstration. I, I probably will end up staying in this one. So as you can uh, see from this, there's a few others, and we can just basically select any 10. We can be a part of 10 of these fellowships uh, across a whole range of different things. So to better organize what we're actually after, there is actually a few things we can do. So one of the methods is in the top right-hand corner of the fellowship finder, there's a magnifying glass icon, which is a search function and sorts by category. So of course we can choose to be in different types of fellowship based on what the recruiter has posted it under. And we also have language options, so if we're Japanese speaking, English speaking, German or French, that's the options on the European client at least, then we can choose between those. So ultimately if you wanted to create a community just centered around French people, then you can totally do that. So of course there's a lot of usability out of this. So what exactly can a fellowship do? That's the main point about this. If you go back in that social menu, you'll see fellowships near the bottom. These are the ones that you have joined so far, and is also a button to create your own. For example, with Cake Lovers Anonymous, you have a general tab, a message board, and a members tab, which lists the people who are currently members. You can also post on this message board a simple message, sort of introducing yourself, and leave an emoji as well. So obviously you want to post something cake-related if you're joining a cake-related fellowship. Obviously not everybody is going to be wanting to join a fellowship around the um, sort of the prophesization, the fellowship of the cake, so to speak. So if it was like the fellowship of a ring, it would be a ringed donut, that sort of thing. So we also have the members list. This allows you to select people in this, invite them to link shells, cross world link shells, add them to your friend list. And of course, as you can see there on the message board is my wonderful message. These are great little communities if you want to create something for like a hunt group or a activity. Basically, they're good for role playing stuff. Stuff. You can also do polls on here, you know, favorite cake is exactly the option we've got here and you can choose from that list and people can vote on that and then you can see the results of that. So a little bit more serious, let's talk about a PvP fellowship. So this is the official Chaos European PvP fellowship. And of course, in here you have the same thing. You can say hi to everybody. But also the best thing about this is you can organize things like rival wings. If so, you can get a time when people will be most on. You can use the voting function to vote when the majority of people are interested in actually queuing for events in PvP and also team up with them. As a leader of a fellowship, one of the leaders of that, you can actually post bulletin messages and actually announce things in a chat function on screen to those people who are part of a fellowship. These are great ways of sort of scheduling events in game with like-minded people. These are not so much your FCs or your link shell type sort of situations. They're not those kind of social groups. This is more about announcing a thing, going to a thing and taking part in it. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, the fellowship search function is pretty elaborate. There's lots of options, and I'm sure they're going to be adding to this in the future. Currently, of course, your maximum fellowships is 10, so be sure to choose 10 that you actually want to be a part of and that you don't mind seeing bulletins of. I'm not sure I want to have a bulletin of every tasty cake in the world. That's just my own personal preference. Yours 
might be different. But yeah, they obviously have some merit to them. And this function is in its early stages. It's just another great option of trying to organize things in the game. It might not be perfect, but it's certainly a good start. And of course, you can have a thousand members in these. So, you know, there's a lot more people can join this than a link shell. So that's even better for hunt groups, for example. Either way, thank you kindly for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful and insightful, and I'll see you all next time.